Please approach the podium and give your name and address. My name is Robert Dinkins. I live at uh, 5903 Lake Shore Drive at Lake Alapaha. And uh, I was one of the original developers of that property. Uh, I don't know how this conservation got along the shoreline of Lake Alapaha. We had all of the, our property rezoned uh, in its entirety uh, when Fred was the head of the county commissioner, Fred Lutz, and uh, there was no reservation down to the 140 elevation, 140 foot elevation. There was some conservation uh, in the lowland area, which constitutes that lower uh, section of that 100 uh, odd, odd acres. And then our land also is contiguous all the way around to the river uh, in conservation area. But uh, in the subsequent time of this ULDC uh, rezoning and uh, of the whole community, a lot got done that uh, we have had to have the, the county commission and uh, your panel correct. Uh, there was some commercial area in the very front near the near Highway 84, and some commercial area in uh, an area just at the north end of the lake where we had intended uh, or thought that once sometime we would need to have a bait and tackle store and even on the uh, north end of the lake we thought years ago that there possibly would, could be a restaurant uh, put there. So we had that rezoning all done and almost rezoning and there was no conservation below the 140 foot elevation uh, on that lake. Uh, that was where we, zone, we, we developed the property and where we deed the property to any property owner who buys a lot on Lake Alapaha shoreline. So uh, for that to have shown up, and this has just been a total uh, shock to us, my wife and I have been involved in this since we developed that lake. It started in 1986. This rezoning was done in approximately 1987 uh, as we began to develop the property. So uh, that to leave it on that shoreline would negate uh, any of us who wanted to build a dock to, to, to go through a lot of same stuff that we're going through right now. Uh, just to build a dock on Lake Lapa. And so I ask you to remove that and make it uh, the RA zoning that we're requesting for the balance of my 97 acres. And the reason we're doing that, uh, since we bought the property, the entire 1,600 acres, uh, this track was in intended to be a family development for our children and ourselves to eventually move to to have a family unit. Uh, I, I have two children that live on the Lake Lapahaw property. Uh, I have one that did live who has sold and moved uh, in the neighbor who will be selling his property and moving back on this track of land. I have a daughter in Connecticut. Uh, this is entirely and totally for a family unit compound there for our family. And uh, we just don't need to have that conservation along the shoreline there. The conservation beyond the dam, which would be south of the dam, uh, is actually a conservation area. It is low land. Uh, it drops off steadily uh, behind that dam and is part of the low land that is in the river. That, that is my only objection to uh, what the staff, the total staff, uh, I don't know exactly who all the laws that uh, considered that but uh, we need that removed so that we can enjoy the property with a little bit of whatever we need to do uh, in the future.